really excited for this one place that is an abandoned cult camp. It's a lot of children photos. Well, yo, it's definitely hollow. Guys, you see this? It's like a secret passageway. All right, everyone, so I just made it inside to the house. It feels good to be back here. That's definitely a big change of what happened in this home. I probably use a sledgehammer to get inside. That's crazy. meadows and dense woods there stood an old and expansive house in a very remote location once a magnificent residence for a family of five it was previously owned by an enigmatic man who lived there with three of his close friends this house with its magnificent library was a venue for significant gatherings from the 1990s yet an annex concealed ominous secrets. Townsfolk whispered of eerie events, including nocturnal rituals, unfamiliar guests, and harrowing tales of child trafficking. Many started to believe that it was a cult. By 2002, a police raid unveiled the haunting truth, revealing evidence of the cult's wicked activities. The ringleader and his accomplices were in prison and the one stately home was sealed, standing as a reminder to his dark past. For two decades, the house remained deserted, its memories fading away. However, its allure began to beckon urban explorers drawn by tales of its history. Tempted by the stories, my friends and I decided to venture into its depths one chilly winter day and to uncover what's left in this mysterious home. Wow, look at this everyone. We're in Rochester, New York right now. Chilling in the penthouse. But guess what, we only had this place for $100 for one night. Split with three people, that's a steal. And I'm joined here with... We got Urban X Alex over here. Unseen Explorer. I thought you were like a robber for a second. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm with these guys for, just for today I guess. We're exploring three places today. Uh, this video is probably going to be only for one place, or might combine it with two. Who knows, but I'm really excited for this one place that is an abandoned cult camp. That's right. This place, they had like this cult going on, this is illegal cult, and they got caught for it, and that's why the place is abandoned. But inside looks beautiful. We're going to drive there right now in the freezing cold. But yeah, better look at this suite that we have. I was sleeping right there on the couch last night. Big screen TV, we didn't even get to use it. That's what happens in a lot of road trips. Kitchen, I mean we utilized this. Alex was cooking like waffles. Which by the way, leave a comment down below if you're team waffles or team pancakes. Me and Colin here, we're team waffles. Waffles, here. waffles all day, guys, nah, come on. Waffles pancake, all day. Alex the pancake guy. Waffles all day. No, you waffles. guys are monsters. Waffles, waffles. waffles. leave a comment down below. <laughs> this is the uh, bedroom that Colin and Alex were sleeping in. Pretty dope, even had its own Bathroom over there. All right, we're heading out now. We also have one other person joining us, and that's Rick. We're gonna meet him right now. Oh. And even outside, looks like it's freezing. The temperature had to be at least 10 degrees. It was super cold, but we still pushed forward and did the one hour drive to get to the destination. But, we also had to now do a hike. Hey, man. Well, let's look at the map. We're now trekking through the woods. It's snowing. Honestly, I love exploring when it's snowing. It just gives a really nice vibe. Not only that, but I'm a person that hates the heat. I sweat too often. Like, whenever you guys see me explore during the summer, I'm like drenched and sweaty. So, it's nice for a change. Damn, this is slippery. It's slippery. Dude, it's so slippery. It's slippery. The hike wasn't that bad. I came prepared with a warm jacket. 
some waterproof shoes. These are all dead Thors that we're walking through. They still hurt. And it was nice that they had a little stream going. This is Rick, by the way, right here, crossing the little stream. It only took us about 20 minutes to get to the abandoned home. We just made it on site. The truck's abandoned. It's been here for a long time. I didn't want to stay outside for too long, so we immediately tried to find our way inside, and we did. The entrance had a lot of black mold. All right, everyone, so we just came from the entrance straight into the living room amazing i actually like this room a lot i feel like this part of the building was where the family would lived in and the other side over there was where like its religious members would be staying the stairway is pretty cool it just spirals up to the second floor we'll have to check that out later but look at this giant stone fireplace these are one of my favorite fireplaces still got some furniture i believe this place still has some stuff left behind. And there's a TV hidden in there. Looks really old from like the 90s. That's really cool. Look how it's just inside there. It's kind of a bad spot to put it. Like, how can you even be watching TV from down here? That's a strange thing actually, now that I think of it. I probably would not like to have one. It can actually get outside from here onto a little deck. We have an old newspaper from 1994. To my surprise, there were still a few things left inside. Got like a CD player. Gotta love the chandelier in here too. Looks so medieval. Huh, I used to own one of these things. It's like a portable radio. You were able to like plug in headphones and listen to music from it. And as I was inside, it felt really great to warm up again. All right, let's keep moving forward, guys. I found some envelope that says confidential. I mean, they were doing some secret shady stuff in here. Got some really old movies. Looks like they're really old because look, they're colored blue now. It's like sunlight damage. Look at that from a distance. It's like a little library. We'll check it out later. For now, let's explore the rest of this floor first. I made my way to the kitchen and I couldn't believe that there was still stuff there. Looks like someone loves Bud Light. Well, a lot of the things are still in the drawers and on the counter and the shelves over here. Got a lot of ingredients, salt and spices. And even all the plates, they just left everything behind. Oh gosh, the refrigerator. Here we go. Let's see what's inside here. Oh gosh, everything is still in there. Oh, oh. dude, it smells so oh. bad. <laughs> dude. <coughs> dude, that was the worst smelling refrigerator ever. Oh. <laughs> Run, dude. Don't open that. Oh my god. That was the worst. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh. Bro, come over here. Oh, oh man, why is that smell lingering? Oh. No one opened that. Oh my gosh, that's a death wish. Dude, for real. Oh. I honestly cannot describe the horrid smell of an abandoned refrigerator. And I highly recommend no one ever does that if they encountered it inside an abandoned home. But after this, my friend Urban Lens told me the stuff that he found in the dormitory rooms. Over here. So where's the family album? Right back here. Yeah, it's in the Down back. that hall? Yeah. Okay. All right, show me, boys. Guess we'll check these rooms later when we're coming back. Oh, wow, they're bedrooms. All right, let's see the family albums. Okay. All right, here's the basement, too. Yeah, all right there. Immediately when I entered the room, I got chills down my spine. This was the room where some of the cult members would stay in. I couldn't believe what I saw. Memories of the past lay scattered on this bed. There's a lot of children photos, but it can also be the owner's kids. It could be like their family album. But I have like kids from different races, which makes me believe some of these people in these pictures were part of their cult. By the looks of it, they had a lot of members. 
I'm guessing these photos came from this photo album right here by the window. Oh, there's some clothes in the closet that's just left, but not so many. Looks like we have some award. I'm gonna blur that. One needle. I wanna check the basement later on. Guess we should just head down this hallway. Hmm, looks like these were made by kids. There's a date when this was created. It was made in 2013. I then made it to the next room, which looked like it was used for all their gatherings. We're leaving our bags all in here. Yeah, there's a bunch of random things laying all around. Here's a bathroom. So I'm guessing the family was living on the left side and they would use the right side of their home for their cult organization that they had. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chairs. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So that would mean there was about 48 people coming here. But I think this is the last room. So I guess we should just head back and look at the other rooms that we didn't get to see. Yeah, here are some of the bedrooms we're gonna be checking out right now. Honestly, someone can definitely squat in here. All the rooms were messy, but the beds were pretty well made. I even got to find some prayer books that they use. Right on top. There was even prayer books for children. And by the looks of it, it might be correct since there's like children's book everywhere. I wonder if the power's still on. Nope. Looks like the power's completely shut off. All right, we got two more bedrooms to go. A lot of them only has the bed inside. You cut across, there's a bathroom shared down this hallway. Well, I might as well check the basement now. Hopefully these steps are sturdy. Oh, yeah, they feel strong. As I made my way down the basement, I really didn't find anything interesting that caught my eye. Yeah, there's really nothing down here. I feel like there's some water well over here. Set back up. It looks like this is an employee closet just for storage. Wow. We're back in the kitchen. After exploring most of the rooms, I now made it back to the library. This room was the most mysterious room of them all. I feel like someone put this here for a reason. Yeah, there's definitely something secretive under here. Well, yo, it's definitely hollow. Yeah, those will be orcs. Uh -huh. Guys, you see this? Yeah. It's like a secret passageway. Let's try and open that. See what's in there. Wait, are we gonna find some children in there? <laughs> Maybe. Cold children? What? There's no here, way. You call. You do it so I can get on video. There's no way that's gonna open, right? I, I, I it, it looks like it can. What about it was, on the other side? Yeah, oh, there you go. yep. There you go. Verdict no. Goes. Bro. Wait, what is that? Wait, what yeah. the heck? What the fuck? What is this? Does it lead down to the basement? It looks like a sh like a shaft, like a door. You can open that too. Pull it up with a knife. Dude, this is Hold a this. this is a secret. Like I know. Why would why would they keep it here in the middle of the room too? What? That's a bit bizarre. What is Yo, going or on? no, that looks like a hiding spot because that that's concrete right under that, right? Yeah. Dude, that looks like they would hide something. So like, this was like a little safe, maybe. Yeah. Probably kept some jewelry, money, all sorts of things oh, important yeah, to them. The floor. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people keep hidden stuff on the floor. Okay. Listen, hmm. it's all metal. So at one point, this was a safe, guys. Somebody ripped that up. And they built it onto the floor. Yeah, someone did rip it up. They were probably stepping around and they noticed like yeah. the hollow sound on their footsteps. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's creepy, though. But dude, this was also hidden by these little tiles at one point. So that, that was made to be a secret. Yeah, it was meant to be kept secret. Wow. That's, what? That's so crazy. Wow. So people through the years have been walking on this and they didn't even know what it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't really encounter that a lot when you go urban exploring, so that's neat to see. So I'm not looking for- Yeah, especially with the cult house. I Bro, I was expecting like children in there, like sacrifices, like rituals. I tried to find books pertain to the cult, but I couldn't find anything. Most of the books were just on different religions. Though, 
this room was so beautiful and I had to make my way upstairs to see the stained glass. Just made it upstairs over here. I love how the bookshelves are just filled. A lot of them are not even like religious books. They're just all random. And look at these stained glass windows. Even has in loving memory of our parents written on there and it dates back to 1861. This is probably dedicated to like their grandparents. And this one goes all the way back to 1839. This is Alfred and Juliet. Definitely the highlight of this place is this room right here. At this point, it's already been one hour of exploring the place. And it was now time to explore the remaining rooms. It looks like, you know, the second floor was another area with bedrooms. I think this person's name was on the stained glass. The actual family probably lived and stayed up here. Yeah, for sure. You can see that the rooms aren't really shared and you have like bigger beds. Well, there's black mold growing now in here too. The bathroom still has some soap. Yeah, this is in the middle of the hallway. And you got two bedrooms. And this room looks pretty big. They left some things behind. Some medicine, blankets. I was hoping to see more clothes in the bedrooms, but yeah, for once they took them. This has to be the master bedroom. It's probably where the parents would stay. Look how nice this bed looks right now. I like the blanket a lot. Looks like it can keep you nice and warm. But this place is definitely smaller than I expected. I think we're gonna explore another place right after this. That's kind of close by. It's about like two hours away. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button. I've been enjoying this place a lot. It's really interesting to see. It's something I've never ever seen before. And I've actually always wanted to hit this spot, especially to get photos in the library room. But uh, yeah, definitely a small exploration, even though it kind of looks massive from the outside. It's really small. There's not much left in here. So to further this video, we're gonna go explore this abandoned home. I wanna check on it. It's an absolute amazing spot. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna take some photos. You have to check them on my social media links, at Steve Ronan, link down in the description. The second place is a very special place that I discovered back two years ago. It's known as the Pope House, and inside is remarkable. But a lot has changed over the years. It's an amazing house. It's sad to see that it's in this state. But I'm pretty sure it can still be repairable. It's still a mystery though why the kids kind of left this place with all their memorabilia. I mean, look at it. The front entrance is completely grown. You can't even walk up to it no more. You can tell that it's just been abandoned and left forgotten for so many years. I mean, the vines are already growing right there by the window. All right, everyone, so I just made it inside to the house. It feels good to be back here. Everything is kind of left the way when I first explored it two years ago. I mean, this place is really low key. I hardly have ever seen this place posted online, but I can definitely tell that, you know, some people move things around. I mean, we still have some of the religious figures here. This place is one of the craziest time capsules I've ever explored in 2020. Shout out to the people that remember. TV is still here. That's good to know. We still have a lot of things frame to the wall. Yeah, we still have the happy anniversary. The things are still left inside these drawers and cabinets. Still got the cups, the plates, and the 50th anniversary gifts, I guess is what you should call it. Golden years together. And there's a place that says to mother and dad with love on your anniversary. These must have been all gifts sent to them from friends and family. And we got a, a plate here that has the Pope right on it. Yeah, I remember there was like something on the wall over here, I believe, where it had something about right, the Pope, but I think it's gone. 
and the table had more stuff on it. And I remember over here, there was like, like a war medallion. Now it's all gone. This is just absolutely destroyed. I think it was like this before. I think this room has been changed a little bit. That's my bat right there that I set. But you guys might be familiar with this safe that we found. And it seems like someone definitely broke into it. They literally destroyed this thing. I was very shocked to see this safe in this condition. I would have never imagined that it would be open up like this. When I first discovered it with my friends back in 2019, it was fully intact and completely hidden from sight. We were the first ones to discover it. I think the ceiling over here is definitely in worse condition. Looks to be asbestos. Okay. I remember I found like records of Elvis right over here. This is such a cool vintage record player. I got this really vintage radio. It's crazy to me. A lot of these things, I don't even remember it. I explored so much since then. That I like, this place still seems new to me. Got a bunch of VHS tapes over here. But I definitely remember that this room was sketchy. I'm surprised the floor hasn't falled yet over the years. But yeah, this was like the living room back then. And that was the main entrance to get inside. Now, besides the safe being cracked open, there was a lot more changes as I explored the house. And the table had more stuff on it way back. And I remember over here, there was like, like a war medallion. Now oh, it's all gone. This is just absolutely destroyed. I think it was like this before. Sad to see. Anyway guys, you know, I just want to come here because we were around the area and I want to see what it's like now. This is one of my favorite spots I did a couple years back. Sad to see that it's still in this state. And, but I think it's still quite rare. It's not really that destroyed up yet. I think mother nature will just be the one to destroy this place first. But let's head upstairs. I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to expect of the second floor and how much it would have changed. Yeah, everything's pretty much set up the same way here too. Kind of, I think. I have to rewatch my video, I guess. But I remember like the TV was there and there's all these boxes left behind. Man, I don't think I saw this though. The closet still has all the clothes in there. Definitely gotta be careful in the bedrooms. That's all I remember. I'm not gonna really walk around. But check out this trophy. It's for bowling. That's pretty neat. But yeah, the bedrooms are pretty cluttered with memorabilia. No way. This is the family. It's a family photo. I think when I first came here, I didn't really find any pictures. Here's the husband and the wife. And I guess revisiting places can be a good thing because you never know what else you might find. Oh yeah, I remember this was like my favorite bedroom. So I just want to say, you know, I've been looking through the comments from my previous video and CatLady777, if you're still watching my channel, she mentioned that these figures are actually called Avon and they're, oh no, I think I broke it. Actually, no, I didn't. It attaches back together. Thank God, I thought I broke it, guys. But these actually fetch a good price. And I think there's some sort of collectible. And other bowling trophies. They really love to bowl. Check out the shelf here, too. A lot of Avons on this. It looks like some perfume, too. Wow, the closet here is open. I don't even think I got to see this here. But so many clothes. Probably from the wife. We got a letter too. Probably from the aunt. It's a birthday letter. This room is the one I'm afraid of. I feel like it can definitely collapse. So we're not even gonna bother 
walking through here. I think we'll head back down. But anyway, I definitely recommend you watch the first video of this place because I did a full on walkthrough. You can watch it up here or, you know, just search it on the end of the video. See Rona Band and Pope House. Uh, I remember this garage was completely locked. But right here is how it looks. I thought there was going to be a car. Here's the door. Oh, wait, no, it's the door still in. Never mind. Yeah, no. <laughs> That'd be crazy if there was a car For real. I love finding abandoned cars, but no, we just got abandoned gym equipment in the garage. There's a lawnmower. So we're now walking to the basement, but this is how the backyard looks and the back of the house. They actually had a lot of land back here. I never got a chance to explore it. But yeah, everything's just overgrown now, sadly. All right, we'll walk to the basement. Hmm. Yeah, it's right over there. All that? Yeah. He drinks on that? Yeah. He sure did. Yikes. Say you want to do it for my video? No. No? You don't want to drink that? Absolutely not. Fermented peaches? It's probably just booze. Yeah, the basement has always been... The basement has always been cluttered. But here's the room that caved in. Look, they had like a little workshop here. It's like a station. Like there's like a huge apple cider jug and everything. Oh, seriously? Yeah, go look at the workbench. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> look at this, we got some apple cider. I love that. I love apple cider too. It's way better than apple juice. Oh gosh, it's definitely not good. <laughs> Take a swig. I mean, look at that. Dude, look at how fermented it is on the bottom. I know, bro. <laughs> it's like so orange now. Yeah. Let's see how old this house was. You know, like a cobblestone wall. That's one of the foundations in the basement. Yeah. That. I think my friend drank this. But it looks like the lid is slightly open. Ew. I mean, this is probably still good. You would comment down below if you would drink some of this fermented peach juice. As the exploration came to an end, it was time for us to now go home. Already, I was exhausted. It's been a long day. Mic check. All right, departing ways. It's great Good shit, you, Alex. Until next time. Until next time, Colin. Yeah. Pleasure exploring with you guys, as always. Hey. Now, Rick and I, were going to Ohio. We got a five hour drive to do. But when I get back home, we're hitting more places, all right? All right. Find more good spots, okay? <laughs> What's up, Ronan fam? So I forgot to do an outro, so I'm gonna do it here. I just wanna say thank you so much for making it to the very end. And I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. The editing style was a bit different, maybe an improvement. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think I really do like this style and I might do it more often. Anyway, this explore, this cult house was very bizarre and I just loved how I got to revisit an old classic place that we did a few years back and just to see the changes of it and find new things was really, really enjoyable. But let me know down in the comments your thoughts and I also just want to give you guys a life update. I'm here in the Philippines. I've been here for about two weeks already. But yeah, to all my Filipinos out there, just shout out to you guys. Leave a comment down below if you're from the Philippines. I've been here for about two weeks already and I'm so sorry for not uploading last week but I've just been so busy here filming non-stop and it's totally worth it guys. I have so much good videos here in the Philippines that I think you guys will love and enjoy. Anyway, if you want to be up to date with my life every single day, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. That's where I keep you guys updated every single day. So don't forget to follow me on there at Steve Ronan. But yeah. Just want to say I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'm going to end the video now. It's like 3 a.m. I'm super tired. So I'm going to go doze off. Don't forget to live a life of wonder. I'll see you all next time. Peace and thanks for watching.